you know, he said, whenever people say America's not racist, I get very, I'm like. Okay, so we're doing it. We're doing this. Okay. So we're doing this. I, I get really confused because I'm like, are, are we just living in different Americas? Because even if you're a privileged black person, like you're dealing with some racism in some capacity. So there's that. Um, but I, I got so many things I want to say. So he. Mm, mm, he is the token black Republican. One is is literally denying what's taking place in his party. Like they they literally were like, "Oh, America's not racist. We're gonna take our one black Republican senator. What state's he from? I don't South, even know. South it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. Carolina. Is it South Carolina? And we're gonna yeah. put him up there, and we're gonna have him, you know, do his little follow up and make us seem culturally diverse when it's just him. And then they're going to have you say some stupid stuff. So, like, it just it just hurts me. And then the reason why I need to keep going into it is because he brought up the view. And on when I'm in my view zone and I'm on Twitter between 11 a.m. and 11.59 Eastern Standard Time, I'm usually trolling Megan McCain because she's always saying some privileged, annoying stuff. So she tries to sound awake with... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with racial issues and politics and she's not so she went on this crazy tangent look it up because it was so annoying and it, everyone like Whoopi is just the grandmother that I, I i like Whoopi just her facial expressions just align with mine and my spirit and she was just like okay but megan was like it's so disrespectful in the way they're talking about one black man but you can't talk about black people on the the other side of the the issue and it was like megan shut up you don't know what you're talking about and literally your party is using this man as a black puppet uh, that's just something i've noticed that black republicans are very much so like no this isn't a racist country and no like you're you're the you're the one exception and and you can't use your grounds as the one exception to blindfold yourself from everything else that's happening so i know a lot of people are calling him um uncle tim, uncle tim. A, in reference to uncle tom and uncle tom's cabin um from way back in the 1800s just to kind of you know make the the story behind uncle tom's cabin was it was written to you know Give give the perception of of soft black demeanor in in mm. Uncle Tom and you know he was loyal and he was a trustworthy he was just a, a good good black man you could trust Uncle Tom um, so they're they're kind of doing that to to him I personally think Tim is in the sunken place I think I think there's a teacup and there's a little somebody Boy, where would where would we be without without uh, get out. I, it's really just given a whole new perspective get out of is, get out. Like, We're going to look back <laughs> in like 30 years and get out. is going to be like one of the, just get out is going to be part, like they're going to stop doing book reports and they're going to have kids start doing like movie reports. And you're just going to have to watch movies and like break down, like, like analysis. And that's going to be one of the, the movies you're going to have to analyze and like make a comparison right. to history. 90, but, 90 seconds. But that's just how I feel. Um, I really want your two cents. And I know you're going to give your two cents and I'm going to remember other things and I'm going to interrupt <laughs> your two cents. Honestly, I don't really have a whole lot of a lot of thoughts on it. It's it's not surprising to me that Tim Scott would say we don't live in a racist country. And to be fair, uh, the president and vice president said the same exact thing. We can get them for that. And, um, you know, I I think. You know, it's funny is that and you kind of alluded to it is that Tim Scott would say that we don't live in a racist country yet. He's the only black Republican um, and even in his speech, he recounted like being pulled over like seven times, I think, in, in one year um, by, you know, by by white police officer, by police officers because he was being profiled. Um, so it's it's just it's just funny that uh, people would say that. But I think I think people are scared to say that because they believe by saying America is a racist country is that's just like it. <laughs> like it's just only racist. Like it can be racist, but also be a country where you can have. Uh, a black president and you know a, a woman a woman of color be be the vice president or you can have uh like uh you know multiple black billionaires you can have successful black people you can have black people in 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 high high places um so i for some reason people just seem to think if you were to say there's if this is a racist country then that means there's just absolutely no no progress or success there for, are some for black people countries in the world that are great contributors to yeah. like France so, is racist and we get some great wine and champagne from there. Yeah, like, so just, I, I think that that's, 
I mean, I understand that's just politics. So because they they can't they can't lean they can't give credence to the the statement that their country is racist at all. Otherwise, they lose pretty much all of all of their base. So I, I understand it from that standpoint. Um, I don't. I I saw the. I saw a little bit of Meghan McCain going off because I was I was walking by as I was I was working when you were watching in and she was saying doing her 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 bit about um Extra. you know these are slurs the uncle uncle Tim is a slur and you know it's not okay to do it for anybody and she doesn't you know and it's and I probably could have sympathy for Tim Scott but I actually don't because he's the same person who was quoted as saying woke supremacy is as dangerous as white supremacy and when you say something like that I just I can't I can't really defend you in any shape form or or fashion so um you know it's unfortunate that he's been put out there he's kind of been you know pushed pushed to the front by by his party to to speak um you know, to, to, to say that the country is not racist and to be like, look, look at me and look where I am. The country couldn't possibly be racist. Uh, but when you say stuff like woke supremacy is, is as angels white supremacy. Yeah. You know, I, I can't, I can't really rock with you. Um, because again, by saying woke, it, it prevent, it puts a smoke screen up for, for, for white supremacy and a lot of the, the just ugliness that still resides in this country. Um, and, and, and a lot of the things that are right in front of us, plain as day right the fact that we only have one black uh republican senator that uh raphael warnick was only this what the second uh black mm-hmm. senator to uh, to to serve in from from the south i think and however many hundreds of years old this country is um you can look at the number of uh black uh congressmen and women you know uh to, to serve this country and see the disparities like the book white fragility i know a lot of people like speak ill of it and say it's just virtue signaling another coded coded phrase uh because they called white people in in word lovers back in the in the 50s when there were white people who were supporting the civil rights movement too so if you notice there there are a lot of words that are created to delegitimize movements Mm -hmm. to advance social progress and to, to advance racial equity in this country and to get rid of systemic racism a lot of times those words get get put out by certain sides and then they just push it they push it they push it so if you if you look if you search woke on Facebook or Twitter or Google, you're going to see, um, you know, opinion pieces. You're going to see uh, clips from right wing pundits talking about, oh, woke, wokeism, Hollywood is woke, woke, blah, 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 blah. And all it is, it's just, it's just misdirection. They're trying to delegitimize, um, like, things that need to happen. Um, and you notice that a lot of the, like, the word woke wasn't really being used a lot until we saw a lot of the marches um, and, and, um, demonstrations beginning last summer that really ramped up uh, with the murder of George Floyd and uh, with the rise of Black Lives Matter as a, as a movement. So it's go back and look and, and pay attention and you'll start to see like why a lot of these, a lot of these things, a lot of these talking points um, have been, have been brought up. So I have no sympathy for Tim Scott. Um, I think he's kind of made his bed, so he needs to lay in it and you know, whatever happens, you know, say, what, what is it? Um, que sera, sera. Que sera, sera. And that's really all I got to say about it. But uh, please stop saying woke. I like, liked when it was just stay woke. It's like, not. But you can say stay woke, but don't just but say. I enjoyed when that was it. And yeah, now I woke mean, has taken so many like depths. And all you got to yeah. do is one thing. It's like, yeah, she woke. No, she's not. No. Like she's just, you know, waking up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night and going yeah, back stop, to sleep. Stop, stop it's saying, not that deep. Stop saying um, stop It's saying like the woke. picnic invitation. Holding, we just holding, throwing those yeah, out. Holding people accountable for being racist or for being uh, misogynist or for being homophobic is not. Um, not it's not woke it's just holding people accountable so it's responsible culture. <laughs> yeah it's responsible culture account accountability culture so yeah, like please that. please stop stop saying woke thank you yeah going through some growing pains yeah none but some growing pains yeah hey